What's up guys, my name's Brandon and Apple just released iOS 18.4 Beta 2 to registered developers and soon to public beta testers. Now along with this update, we also got the second beta for iPadOS 18.4, watchOS 11.4, macOS Sequoia 15.4, tvOS and HomePod version 18.4, and VisionOS 2.4. And we also got the second RC build for macOS 14.7.5 and 13.7.5. But of course in this video we are talking all about iOS 18.4 beta 2 and talking about everything new in this update. Now, starting off with the size of the update, it came in at 1.34 gigs on my 16 Pro Max, which was coming from beta 1. That size will vary, but it will most likely be over one gigabyte for all. Now, if we head into our settings to check out the build number, let's go into our general about 18.4. The new build is 22E5216H. So we do still have an H at the end of the build number, which indicates we have a few betas to go just as expected and if we go down to the modem firmware that is 1.54.00 on the 16 series all right so now what's new here in ios 18.4 beta 2 and the first thing is in the control center so if we go ahead and add a new control here we have a brand new control for visual intelligence so you'll see under apple intelligence in siri we now have a control center toggle for visual intelligence so this is not only on the iphone 16 series but this is also now available on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So even though those devices do not have the camera control, which used to be the only way to activate visual intelligence, they can now activate that via the control center with this toggle. Also, if you go into the settings and go to the action button settings, you will see that we have a brand new option here for visual intelligence here as well. So if you want to quickly launch visual intelligence from the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro series, you can go ahead and do that here as well. And while we're in the control center, I also want to point out a very small change to the productivity ambient sound. So ambient sounds are new in 18.4, but the glyph icon for the productivity one is a little bit different. So you can see on beta one, the second square with the check mark is behind it and to the right, but now in beta two, it's to the left. So just a very small change, but that is something that I noticed. Also, it looks like this whole section has been renamed. So before it just said Siri, but now it says Apple intelligence in Siri, and we have the new Apple intelligence glyph icon there instead of this Siri that looks like reminiscent of Apple intelligence. So it looks like talk to Siri is also new as well in the control center here in beta two. Also new in iOS 18.4 beta two, we have seven new emojis. So you can see we have one smiley. It's a smiley with baggy eyes looking like he's tired. We have a fingerprint and then we have that little splatter right there. And then below that we have a root vegetable, leafless tree, a harp, a shovel, and Sark as the flag. So you can see what all seven of those new emoji look like. Now, of course, since we do have Genmoji, you can probably create something similar, but the good thing about having new emoji is that we can form new Genmojis based off of these you know, existing emojis down here in our keyboard. So let me know in a comment down below which of these is your favorite. My favorite has to be the baggy eyes smiley. I always love the smileys, but what do you think about those? There's also a change in the App Store. So when you go to download, an application, you'll notice that we now no longer have a stop button. We have a pause button. And when you tap on pause, we get a new button there, a new option to resume. So that is new here in 18.4 beta 2, a very welcomed change there. I think before you could only pause it from the app icon, like you go here and you go to pause download, but from the actual app store, it just said stop. But nonetheless, we now have that resume button right here inside of the app store. And the mail application, we have a new explainer for the mail category. So it says, find the messages that matter most in primary and organize everything else. Tap the three dot menu to learn more. And then right here, you have a quick option to turn primary off, or you could just tap on okay to dismiss it. So if I go to turn off, for example, it will completely get rid of that you know, primary inbox. And if you go to the three dots up here, you will have to re-enable it by re-enabling categories. Also in the photos application, we have a new call out here that says find a specific moment. And it just basically points to the search option. So it's giving us more information about what we can do as users to find what we're looking for using natural language. So just a new pop up there, not a new feature, just a new call out to that feature. If we head into the news plus food section, you can see we have a new glyph icon right here to the right of where it says 
food and wine. And we just had a crash there on beta one. Beta two is far more stable, by the way, for the News Plus application, specifically in News Plus food. It crashes all the time on beta one, but that has been fixed here with beta two. And also when you go into a recipe, you can see that the three dots are now visible before they kind of blended in and you couldn't really see the button right there. And then also if we go all the way down to the bottom, we have this more to explore section, which is new where it shows food, wine and dinner. So basically like categories and you can search after tapping on those buttons. This second beta also comes with the brand new Apple Vision Pro companion application. So this is a brand new app for the iPhone if you have an Apple Vision Pro. So this is great. And also for the Vision Pro itself, we now get the Spatial Gallery application, a brand new application for Vision Pro on Vision OS 2.4 Beta 2. And you can see there's not really much going on here. It's not quite as advanced as like the Apple Watch companion application, but you can see different tips like getting started, fit and care, essentials, the user guide, all of that right there. And then on the main page where you can see some other you know things like the spatial gallery you can see the 3d movies just different things that you might want to be uh, watching on your vision pro or experiencing on your vision pro it will show those right here to make it easier to see which content exists out there because it's kind of hard when you just have the vision pro now this second beta is also now available on the iphone 16e so ios 18.4 beta 1 was not able to be installed on the 16e if you're somebody who got that but now with beta 2 it is fully compatible we also have a change to the priority notifications feature so if we go into our settings and go to notifications and then down here to prioritize notifications you can see that we now have a kill switch for all applications so it can choose which applications we want to be prioritized so before in beta one it just automatically determined what was important and it would put that as a priority notification but now you can turn this off for applications that you may not deem as priority like screen time for example or like apple tv i don't think those should be priority so i can disable those now we also see in the code that nacs support for apple maps is coming in a future beta so this is going to be for electric vehicles it will now show those locations on the map also in photos if you go into the recently deleted section you now have new options at the bottom so we now have a button to recover all at once and also an option to remove all permanently at once so before we just had this little menu right here where if you tap on that you just have filter and view options but now you have these two new buttons down here and then taking a look at the release notes for beta 2 we have a resolved issue for notifications so if you had that issue where you had flickering or like you know collapsing notifications on your lock screen if they were really buggy that appears to be fixed here according to the release notes from apple so that's a good fix there now we also have a resolved issue for apple intelligence so sometimes features would be unavailable until you reboot your device but now that has been fixed they should work as intended however we do still have some known issues most notably the wi-fi calling might still not work for some u.s cellular customers on 18.4 as a whole you have to revert to 18.3 to fix that and then also there's still that known issue with writing tools and then there's also these two known issues for apple intelligence as well if you're using a language other than english us now as far as the performance goes performance on ios 18.4 beta 2 feels fine so far of course it's too early to tell just yet if performance is any better than it was on beta one but i really didn't have too many issues on beta one aside from the news application and sometimes like the apple music app would crash but as far as raw performance not just bugs performance felt pretty fine on beta one i would expect nothing less here with beta two except for with the added addition of fixing some of those bugs and some of those crashing applications which is always a good sign so if you had issues on beta one beta two i'm imagining will resolve those i was able to confirm it with apple news but I would assume that's the same case for Apple Music and other applications as well. And then as far as battery life goes, you guys will have to tell me what I started this video with, but battery life is at 84% right now. Seems like that's pretty good to me. I, I don't feel like I lost a lot of battery throughout this video so far. So battery seems to be good as well. But once again, I will be installing this on my main device. So I will let you guys know in my follow-up on Saturday after spending a whole week with Beta 2. And I'll let you know how the battery life and also the performance has been running. Okay, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is going to be iOS 18.4 beta 2. Now we might be switching over to a weekly release schedule after beta 2 
or we could be skipping next week and getting a beta three on the week of the 17th. So it's hard to tell right now. Typically, Apple goes to a weekly release schedule after the second beta of a 0.4 update. However, it's unknown at this point what Apple is going to do. Now, let's say that we are going to a weekly release schedule. That would mean that we'd have beta three next week on the week of the 10th. And then after that, we'd have multiple more betas and an RC and then a release for iOS 18.4, a public release, either the first or the second week of April. Now, if we skip next week and get beta three on the 17th, after that, we will for sure switch over to a weekly release schedule. And if that's the case, then we'll get iOS 18.4 potentially on the week of either April 7th or the week of April 14th. And we're also expecting an Apple product release this week as well, or at least an announcement this week. So that also kind of throws a wrench into things as well. So we'll have to wait and see. And I will keep you guys posted over on X and over on threads like I always do. Anyways, guys, that's iOS 18.4 beta 2. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you found anything else new or if you have any comments on 18.4 beta 2, let me know in a comment down below. But anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my beta 3 coverage. And I will see you guys very soon.